It's time for another review, the Wilson D300. Welcome back to the McGolf Shop, and I just got back from vacation in Myrtle Beach, and I'm going to do another video about that and how to uh, think about your trip. But just before I left, I did a few test shots with the Wilson D300, this guy. See that right there? Pretty good looking. That's a pretty good looking cavity. It's got a fairly large sole. Nice face. Okay. The uh, D300 is the distance uh, model for the Wilson brand. And Mike Verska, the designer, installed the flex face technology that was in the C200. Uh, C200 very popular because of it. And if you look, you see these little slots? They go all the way around. And what the idea here is they've cut some faces and then they filled it full of their uh, poly of some variety and it allows the face to flex. So I would say very similar into like a cup face kind of design. Uh, the club itself is very big. It's a, uh, it's a game improver for sure. And it is kind of hollow bodied. You see, notice how wide the sole is right here. Uh, it allows for some cavity area to be in this area. But there's a lot of weight down in this area to make it solid at impact. And the lofts are very, very, very strong, okay? So if you're looking for distance and forgiveness, this could be for you. All right, I hit it, and uh, again, just like I did with the C200, and with the uh, V6, I hit it with a KBS shaft, a KBS 105, and then my Acra Graphite 90. And let me tell you what I did. All right, using the flight scope, uh, with the D300 and the KBS Tour and the Stiff, I carried it 172 and it went out to 186. Uh, my lateral, I was only 0.9 off of the center line as, a, as an average. And I had a club head speed of 90 mile an hour. It's okay, uh, but it did pretty decent. I had a pretty good uh, smash factor of a 130. Uh, not outstanding, but again, this thing's very forgiving. With the KBS 105, I carried it to 175 and took it out to 191.4. And I'm going to show you all this. It'll be up here onto the side. Now, I was three degrees to the right. Now, remember, I'm a lefty, so that was a bit of a fade, more of a push. And I had a 92.9 mile per hour. Uh, club head speed, and a, uh, and a smash factor of 128. So very similar in the way, the quality of the hit. Then with the uh, D300 with the Acra, the I-Series 90 shaft, I carried it out to 181 and got out to 196 with a 94 mile an hour swing speed and a same 1.28 smash factor. And that I was only 0.8 off of center line. So obviously it did exactly what we said. The heavier shaft was a little slower, next lighter shaft a little faster, and the lighter shaft faster still. And I wasn't able to lose it, so to speak. And I like a lighter shaft anyway. So uh, but I mean let's let's face it, a six iron out to almost 200 yards, that's a lot. Okay. Uh, in fact that's a lot a lot. Um, you're looking for a lot of distance and a lot of forgiveness you want to give the d300 by wilson a shot and now it does have a modicum of offset too so if you're uh, suffering from a push or maybe even a uh, slice this might be able to help now like everything else you just don't go walk up there and say hey this is the greatest club ever and you buy it off the rack and you go uh, what you really need to do is go get fit all right, get the right shaft, the right length, the right lie, the right grip, and the right set and makeup for these guys. That way you're using all of the clubs in your bag and you're not wasting any of your money. 
So get fit. But I, I truly think that if you're th thinking about extra distance, this guy is where to go. Uh, flex face technology and uh, you'll enjoy it. All right. So uh, if you like what you saw, it's a little bit informative, uh, like, like it down below and subscribe because there's another one coming. I just got my Steelhead Pros in and that looks to be a pretty neat uh, review all on its own. So uh, D300, distance, forgiveness, uh, nice offset, go get fit so you have the right shaft. And let's see your scores go low.